Guys, lossless scaler is just a gift that keeps on giving, dude. It is insane. All right, I'll give you the whole rundown of what's going to be going on here. Wanted to get on the PlayStation 4, play some games that I have on there that I haven't been able to play. Um, but I'm a PC guy. I have a PC here, another laptop here, another laptop here. It's fucked up. Um, anyway, there's a big story behind that. We'll get into that some other video. What I decided to do was rather than play the shitty 30 FPS outputs that this old PS4 Slim does, um, I decided to get it to run lossless scaling to the computer and get it to output 60. So I'll run you guys how I achieved it, I guess. So first thing is going to be hardware, yes. As you can probably see, you're going to need something like this, a capture card of some sort. In this case, I'm using this this EDID compatible one. These ones are really cheap. Um, you can get them used. I bought this off AliExpress for literally seven New Zealand dollars. Probably do something similar, okay? So what you need is the PlayStation feeding into this and then the USB end going into whatever thing you're going to be using lossless scaler on. In this case, it's my laptop. Uh, in someone else's case, it might be a PC. Really depends. Now, that's pretty much the hardware stuff. I'm going to try to show you guys on here how to get all of that to work. So bear with me. I might just continue on with the video. Otherwise, I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to capture the screen, maybe on this one or even just that screen, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. Um, the results weren't as good um, when I was trying to record it on screen, so we're just going to do it this way. Um, all right, so once you have all of the hardware stuff plugged in, you know, the cord going from this to there, then all you have to do is open up OBS, and then whatever the default settings are, keep those, create a new scene. So once you do this, you want to create a video capture because that's what this comes in as and then from there it's going to get you a menu that looks like this so in your devices you're just going to click usb3 video um, and that will be the capture card itself so at the moment you can see i'm capturing spider-man um, at the bottom here you want to scroll down uh, this will be default change it to custom put in your resolution put in the input frame rate that you're getting so in this case i know that i'm getting 30 frames i'm going to set it to that this is very important because for whatever reason there is no real way of getting adaptive frame gen to work uh, so we have to use a fixed multiplier and that means that we need a stable base frame rate so set this the rest can be kept as default i haven't really changed anything so it's mainly resolution fps uh, and changes input to usb3 so once you're done with that you'll start to capture the feed, okay? So, um, now the question is, you know, right now we're looking at just the editing setup, right? We really want it to be full screen. The way you do that is you come down here, you click on scene, and then you go here to open scene projector, and then you just click on whichever display you want it to go full screen on. So, in this case, I have an ultra wide, and then I have the laptop screen itself, so I have clicked on the laptop screen. So it's just outputting to there. And boom, that's how you get that part set up. Next is the frame generation part. And this is the part that was pretty much impossible to record on. So I'm gonna do it handy cam way. Right, so open up lossless scaler, um, copy these settings. So frame gen type, mode is fixed, multiplies two, flow scale maxed. You don't really need a powerful computer to do this. I think, what am I running on this one? I think this is a 1060. Yeah, this is a 1060 laptop, right? So not the highest end, but it's able to manage this without really throwing a fuss. Uh, capture method, you can go either, just see which one works. Um, I'm just gonna switch it to WGC. Um, and that's pretty much it. 
I have the frame rate that's going to be drawn up here. This is kind of not reliable. Um, oh, also, key thing, Q targeting. Keep this to zero. Uh, increasing this increases latency like quite a bit. It's, it's bonkers, so I just keep it at zero. And then sync mode, I keep it at default. And maximum frame latency, just keep it at one. That's basically the minimum. These are the settings that have kind of worked for me. It may be different for people using AMD GPUs. I'm, I'm really uncertain. Um, but yeah, just have a play around. You can also save um, a setting. So I have one here for PlayStation. You know, that's all preset up, ready to go. And then I have one for just the default laptop settings, right? So once that's all done, um, I will show you guys or give you a demo of what it should look like. So I'm going to pause this, set up the laptop, well, set up the camera um, and give you guys a demo of what the current scene looks like, right? Running at 30 frames, bitch basic, I'll be back. All right, so here we are all set up with the Hori cam. Um, at the moment, I'm running the game at whatever it's outputting, which is, I think it's around 30 FPS. And you can kind of see, like, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's kind of cinematic looking, I guess. Um, but once, once I just alt tab and get up lossless scaler, um, and I scale this, and you click back onto the projected display, just see the difference. So look at that. There you go. You can see the frame rate come up on the top corner. And look how much smoother it feels, man. This is insane. Now, there is a bit of artifacting for sure, but geez, I would rather the artifacting than any of this other stuff. Um, of course, you're not going to be able to, you know, you can't really circumvent certain issues. Like, there are frame dips in this game, so, uh, you know, those will kind of come in the way sometimes when, when the frames are being generated. But generally, the gameplay experience is just so much better, you know, comparing this as to and let's let's scale off of it and and compare comparing that to like this that is insane to me like that difference is wild i'll do it again so scaling up you can kind of see how smeary it is and then bang it goes smooth instantly and it's just so much better so i thought i'd share this it's probably another way that people are you know i'm probably not the first one to do this um but this is something that <laughs> you know blew my mind away because there's probably a lot of people out there with shitty laptops that can run frame gen right and they have also happen to have a playstation 4 lying around so get yourself a free ps5 upgrade in my mind um and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you guys next time Bye for now. Whee!